Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Captain Barboza from Pirates. So let's get in there at the top. Let's do his big old hat. So he's got a big pirate hat going on. There's going to do a little curve at the top here. It's like quite weathered, so there's a little chip out of it. Curve that right around like that. And then there's like a plume coming over the top of a pirate sort of feathery plume. So just do sort of some jagged sort of curved edges just around there, just to sort of show that off. Sort of very flamboyant look he's got there. Do the back of the hat. So the face is going to be around this area here. So the back of the hat is going to come round and up like that. Okay, now we've got that base. Just got to pop a little line in there. That's going to help us draw the top of the head down. So from that area, just draw around uh, one side and then we'll just draw where the face is going to go this side. Uh, this face is going to come down. So I'm just going to do the beard going on. It's a bit of a sort of pirate beard that he's got there just around this area and then I'm going to just pop the hair coming through so there's a few little curves around like that a few little curves on this side that kind of hair comes around so I've got like sort of long piratey hair on him so they just have that sort of coming around the sides there flaring out it's like a little bit of a bit of sort of material that goes around here so I'm just going to sort of draw that in so it's like a chip of material there and then what I'll do, now I've got those elements in, let's pop a nose in. Actually, so just define that beard a bit more, first of all. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now, now I'm happy with that. Let's pop a little nose in, so I'm just going to so pop a line in there. And then just pop a sort of nonchalant mouth, sort of fairly straight. Then he's got uh, like a moustache around that, so I'm just going to draw like above the area below the nose like top lip just draw a moustache sort of coming around that area there sort of patch that in and then I think really his beard comes up just where the lip area would be as well so just bring it up proper piratey looking maybe just a little line for the underside of the lip just like that yeah okay that's good now let's get a couple of eyebrows in so sort of big chunky sort of pirate eyebrows going in here uh, just draw the nose out a little bit more and bridge of the nose, so a couple of little lines here. And then what we'll do, we'll just do a curve under that eye, a curve like a little bit of an oval, and then we'll just draw a little dot there for the eye. And then if you wanted, we could just draw like a tiny little bit of a oval underneath, just a little bit, just to show the underside of the eye there. Cool, and then I think this bit of material, we can just have it coming around a bit more. So I'll just define that sort of hat area there. It's sort of like a bridge that rolls up. So I'm just gonna sort of just draw a couple of little dots in a line to show that off there. Um, I think he's got like a little scar on his face as well here. So it's gonna sort of pop in a little line. Sort of pirates always have their scars. There we go. Maybe just have him a little bit frowning a little bit more to just bring that eyebrow area down. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Right, now I've got those elements in. Let's have a look at the neck area sort of about here and then he has a shirt with a collar and that comes down to about there it's going to be sort of facing that way while the head's facing straight on so it's got a little point there just draw a little v and then he's got his really wide collar so i'm going to draw around to where the hair would go maybe there's a little bit more hair going on as well around here maybe it twist out a little bit more yeah a bit more piratey sort of hair quite dark so just fill that in and the neck comes up about there so we can just fill that in uh, and then we can really just draw like a really flamboyant like sort of triangle cut either side like that join that up and in and that's his little shirt area there got a little necklace on as well so just going to do a little circle there a bit of a line just to show that maybe i'll just draw in as well so it shows his neck a bit of an adam's apple okay cool we've got that nice big chunky collar now I want to put the shoulders in, so let's pop one little sort of, sort of line down there. One little line just where that collar is, sort of just bring it down here. And then we can sort of define where our torso area is. So I think our torso is going to be about here and about here on our guy. So put those uh, torso coke is down there. Just draw that sort of tapering in there. Got a bit of an idea now where the rest of the picture is going to go to. Got a belt going on 
it comes around down here. So from this point here, I've just got to do a loop that comes around to there. And this side as well, just a real chunky belt that comes out to there. And then he's got his sword just above here. So it's going to do like top of that area where it's held into the belt there. Then there's a few sort of circular points. So one, two, three, four like that. And draw a straight line up there for the hilt of that sword going on there. There we go. Okay, now I've got that point in. I can kind of work out the rest of our character. So let's have a look. We've got the outer part of the coat here. So that's really got to flare out to about here. Bring that in. Uh, and then we've got a coat that he's wearing. Join that down to there. This side's coat, just do a line sort of curve from that collar area down to about there. Got a big sort of flapping collar there, so that on the coat there, sort of big like almost like a sail. And then this part of the coat really sort of pops out this side. So bring it out there, flare it out here, bring it in. Okay. And then he's got his belt, so it's kind of put cuff and lines in for his belt area there my big buckle going on it's got like a waistcoat underneath so i'm just going to show that coming up here sort of coming up to this area underneath there again there's like another little sort of collar part to that so that can then do over that way too uh, and then he's got underneath his belt there's like another piece of material so it's just going to pop two lines in like that uh there's a bit of material here so it's going to bring that out there and there and then his uh, undercoat kind of comes out from this belt so just put a pop diagonal line in there let's pop a diagonal line in there like that okay then we'll pop his trousers in so i'm going to bring that down to about here where the knee is really sort of wide sort of trousers so bring that right out there to there kind of just draw a line up here and then the other leg comes out here so really wide sort of pantaloons pirates got on there Sort of bits of material going on there and there and then from under there he's got his boots so they start in the center here so like about there and there there and there and they really sort of flare out so sort of diagonal lies out to the top of his boots and then just cap them off like that okay now we've got those we're gonna have one foot coming this way one foot coming this way so just draw that down there to the heel there's like the heel area and then drawing that boot pirate boot around like that to there this one kind of comes down this way and then the toe area is there bring it around to the top of the foot and up like that and these are quite dark anyway so quite piratey boots are quite sort of floppy almost so it was just a bit of a heel there as well okay cool right let's have a look on here there's a few buttons on the coat so i'm gonna do a few circles going on just all the way down to there great hand on this one too so just draw some big old pirate buttons that go up all the way to here there is a collar actually that goes up here so i'm gonna bring that up there across this area of the coat and then like that okay let's get some arms in so bring that arm to the top our area of the arm up there that's like the forearm that will then come out and down and then it's got it's a bit like these pirate boots it's got a wide bit here so bring a line out there okay this line then comes in like that join that up and then he's got sort of like a thumb coming out here and then it's got like sort of frilly shirt around there so it kind of comes around the thumb like that and then we just pop couple of fingers in like that there we go it's a little bit of material that goes between the, the coat hooks there so this kind of bellows out so it's going to join there just do some sort of ovals really that go along to there okay i think there's almost like a little bit of sort of detail going on here so i'm just going to pop this on his shoulder and maybe just pop a few little lines in there right okay this side let's do the same sort of thing so we're going to come down his arm area so like that forearm there then bring that down forearm part and then we've got this sort of wider part again so just bring that in like so and then same sort of thing so there's a shirt area that kind of comes out like that 
there's a thumb and then he's got actually got a bit of material there that's darker and then we'll just pop some fingers in around there too okay with this belt um let's just put a couple of buckles in it like a big one here <laughs> draw those in like that oh yeah and this side on the um jacket do those ovals again either side of that then we'll just join up the picture maybe there's a bit of material where that goes in there maybe we just want to sort of pipe an edge a little bit here just add a bit of sort of character maybe this hat here just a little bit of detail in there it's quite nice be able to do that now you want to just fill in this little piece here like completely dark that's quite nice and there seems to be sort of little i think there were like laces that come off the boot there so just going to do a curves there and let's put them in some ground them in the background again let's do like it's almost in some water so just do a little few little lines there it's like on the on the shoreline uh okay cool let's start coloring them in so i'm going to get a nice blue first of all let's color in that sort of coat area um really actually one extra thing it's got circles here on these cuff areas there we go cool, that's it. right now we've done that let's start filling that in so he's actually got a blue bit here in his hand okay and then let's do these cuff areas there's no blue bit on this side so it's this cuff is blue and then let's get the chisel tip and do the larger areas a bit quicker with the pro marker chisel tip okay let's just go and see yeah Okay, that's quite a big area of the coat filled in and actually let's just do that hat i think that's quite sort of a dark sort of color as well so let's just fill in there maybe i'll just leave a little bit of light sort of coming off sort of this side here the rest of that we can just fill it in Okay, cool. So next up, let's get a uh, let's get flesh color and let's get those fingers and thumbs done. And uh, let's go in there. Let's get face done. So I've got that nice flesh color there. I'm going to leave a little bit of light just on a certain few little points, just to sort of show the light bouncing off. Okay, good. That's nice. Let's just a little bit darker around here. Could be the areas too. That's good. Okay. Those are in. Let's get a sort of sort of creamy colour now. What I'll do, it's like a sandy sort of colour. I'm just gonna just do some of these areas like a bit of a base. The shirt is this colour. So just gonna sort of draw that in, leave a little bit of white going on there. Maybe this sort of area here is a little bit of a kind of sort of this sandy base as well uh definitely sort of this bit of material here and then 
underneath this point too. Let's just fill that area in there, it's around there. Uh, and then these sort of shirt areas, we've got this sort of colour in them. Let's fill those bits in like that. Uh, and then what I can do, that thing then is just get a sort of brown colour. Now uh, let's just fill in sort of this point here and here. And then the sort of midpoint of this waistcoat, sort of there, there. And then let's get these trousers and boots in. So I'm going to fill in all around this area. And let's get the boots done as well. Maybe just leave a little bit of sort of light coming off the boots a little bit. Those top areas where maybe the light would come off there yeah, that's cool uh, and then let's just fill in this sort of medallion part and then definitely sort of the hair just start filling that in a bit there that's cool uh, and then this sort of belt area let's get a darker colour here and we'll just fill in this sort of belt very dark brown And this belt area too. And then let's fill in this sort of part of the sword. And then the boots, I think, just gives it a bit of a sort of differentiation in colour with the trousers. So I just put a darker colour in. Yes, that's working there. And then maybe these trousers, they're just on the edge. We can just put a little bit of like, shade in just around here and here. Yeah, has a bit of depth to our pick now. And this darker brown as well. Let's go in there with the hair and sort of just build on where we sort of already touched on that. That's it. Yeah, it just fills it in a little bit around there. And this sort of plumes. I'm going to just put some bits of brown in it as well. There we go. There's a few little, like, little circles and things. And maybe just at the back of the hat, just... Where it's a bit of a darker shadow, we can just sort of show that off there with that darker brown there. And maybe the coat can help just on the edges. Uh, maybe this sort of piping area here. Sort of fill right in. Just show a little bit of depth to our pick. Okay. Get ourselves a silver next and uh, we'll just fill in these buckle areas. Buckle areas there, just any sort of sword bits there. And these sort of circles, they can be just filled in bit by bit. Okay, that's really cool. Maybe just actually in here. That actually just let's put a bit of, yeah, that gray and that plume. That works. There. Okay, so let's just pop in the rest of his sword. So. Down here he's got his sword that's kind of coming straight down like that. A sharp object there. Have it maybe ping, a bit of a gleam coming off it there. And then I'll just use the lighter blue. And we'll just do it like it's in a bit of water. So just a few little, little ripples of shallow water that's standing, standing on the beach or something. Yeah, let's go. Right, there we have it. That is Captain Barboza. So, Captain Barboza. On Art Draw, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe, and we'll see you again. Thanks.